Hi Pisces, I have a power of three reading for you today. I'm very emotional and turning into your reading on a Pisces rising. And just I'm taking a few minutes to tune in and just I feel like there's a hard expansion happening for my Pisces out there. But also we're feeling it. We're feeling it. Let's just get into this. <laughs> I feel such it's in my solar plexus, but I feel it for you. I feel like I can't take a deep breath. I feel like I need to. <sighs> Pisces, whoo. <sighs> Pisces, you're afraid to let go of something. <sighs> you're, uh, you've been holding on to something that you dearly loved. And it just could be, you know, if it's not a relationship in your life, it could be um, like a, a past version of yourself, I want to say, that you just know. Uh, oh it's really emotional. Um, no longer serves you. Blame those more go out. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah. The, this is all coming from the groundhog spirit. <laughs> Look at him. You're finding your home within. Okay? This is home. Frequency 31. The groundhog is here to say it's time to let go. It's about a surrender. See how he's just loving this little heart here. Uh, wow. You're a master creator creating a new beginning. 31. What you used to love needs to be let go to allow new love to make energetic room for this. <laughs> Pisces. Yeah, I feel like it's a love story wanting to come in very strongly um i think somebody is doing shadow work you know how like the groundhog spirit comes out and then retreats back into their den into what is comfortable and it's outside of our comfort zone that we uh grow into deeper forms of love right and awareness. So, oof, this is Pisces. Who you're feeling it right now? Literally, it could be going back to a home location as well. Um, so let's just see what the groundhog has to say here. Endings lead to beginnings, and death is a part of life. So groundhog spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the natural ending of something that is no longer serving you. We love to hold on to what is familiar, but the new needs space to arrive so growth can occur. When groundhog spirit appears, it is a sign there is something in your present situation that you need to let go of so that something new can be born, something that will far better serve you now. When the groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So too might you yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. Yeah, you're saying goodbye to a part of your shadow self that has been with you forever, but you don't need it anymore. Oh, I'm grieving hard for you guys. You love different now. You love yourself unconditionally and others. You don't judge love. Oh, I do the Lord. Okay, I have to read this over. Thanks, Spirit, i got to read it over. I'm trying to compose myself here, y'all. But, like, the tears are not meant to be kept. You see me in all my authenticity. I'm a fucking Pisces rising, and I feel you guys. Yeah, oh, I just licked my own tear. That was really cool. <laughs> I love me. <laughs> 
Okay, hug your tits, Pisces. Hug your tits. Okay. Um, when the groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So, too, you might yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. However, change is coming, and it is good, so let go of your resistance. Spring brings more blessings, and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you. Life requires change and detachment. Say, say farewell to whatever once served you, and get ready for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is already sending it to you. Oh, <laughs> I think gotta see me do this. Because oh. I'm a way shower. That's what I heard. Spirit's always talking to me. I ask questions, they fucking immediately answer. I'm a Pisces rising. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about what your heart may need to hear today. This is from your higher self. Okay. My heart soul cards. And then we're going to get an archangel card. All right. So this love connection that wants to flow in. Time for you to let go of whatever you were holding on to here. There's the love that you've loved so much is being reborn in another form. If you want to experience a deeper level of love in your relationship, you must both consciously and willingly surrender to one another. Continuously surrender here. Feel and honor the sacred within each other. Be vulnerable and give yourself up to love each and every moment. In doing so, you will unite in love. You will feel alive, reborn with each breath. One loving thought can create a world of infinite love. All that pink energy, all that yellow energy, the dots that are being connected, the feminine trusting or intuition, the masculine eye wide open sees you. This is a trustworthy connection. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is somebody that wants to come in and look out for you, has good intention has blessings to bestow upon you, is looking out for you, is an angel in disguise, I will say. This is about being practical, though, and preparing for your future here as well. The Knight of Pentacles is trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny, but also one step at a time, slow and steady energy here. There is so much to be accomplished. Make a plan that is methodical and sees to every detail. Slow and steady wins the race. You may decide it's time to find a better job. Business matters take precedence over emotional ones in this situation. Angels are watching out over you right now, so think big. If it's a person in your life, this person is a, has great kindness, okay, and understanding, and someone with your very best interests at heart, somebody who is loyal, trustworthy, funny, creative, and ecologically minded. They may be a vegetarian or a vegan. Additional meetings, renewed action, wise investments, and being watched over by somebody kind. You are not alone through the surrender. Oh, that's all I can do today. I gotta go blow my nose. I have a mess. Pisces, I love you so much. Drop me some love down below if this resonated with your heart today. And reach out to me if you need your own reading. I'll try not to blubber. <laughs> I love you. I love you, love you, love you.